Now, as it is, this name bar isn't bad. It has all the elements we need and it could just fade in on screen. But I wanna take this a step further and use keyframes to animate it. Now, like I said in the intro, Premiere is not an animation software, but we do have basic keyframe properties from our motion tab. And these, while limited, will add some nice motion elements to our name bar. So let's start with the motion of our background graphics. Let's start with the magenta graphic on top. And let's come up to the vector position keyframe. Let's go ahead and turn on our stopwatch for position. Now, because we've just designed the name bar in the position that we want, we want to be careful that we don't just start moving things around to animate it and forget the position that we actually designed it to be in. Now, since we just dropped our first keyframe, this keyframe right here is the recorded data for our resting position, the position that we designed it to be in. So let's drag this keyframe down a little bit because this is where we want it to end up. So now we can do whatever we want with our data before that, and it will always end up at the proper spot. So let's now take our playhead, make sure it's at the beginning of that graphic, and let's change the X position to line up the end of this rectangle right with the action safe line. So it's not gonna move a whole lot, but if I hit play, and just gained a lot. You can see it just kind of starts in and then comes out. Now we can change the length of this animation by dragging the last keyframe either further away to lengthen it or closer together to shorten it. In this case, I want it to be a bit longer, so I'm gonna drag this out. Let's play this back. And just gained a lot of weight. Yeah, it looks nice. So let's go and animate his name now to match in a similar fashion. Before we select Anthony's name, let's move our playhead to be over the last keyframe for our rectangle. This will help us match it up when we go to animate his name. With that lined up, let's come down to Anthony's name graphic. Click on that. Now we can see the playhead is lined up to be the last position for his rectangle. So with the playhead here, let's select the stopwatch for position. This marks at the same point as the rectangle, the resting position for his name or the way that we designed it. So now let's bring our playhead to the beginning and let's bring his name over to the far right as well to be just on that action safe line. And so now when we play this back and just gained a lot of weight his name and the name bar are coming in from opposite directions and they look really nice and smooth. And just gained a lot of weight. Now let's add a basic fade in. Let's right click the starting point and apply the default transition for both the graphics. So now when we play this back, games and just gained a lot of weight. They fade in, they move, and they line up right where we designed them to be. Now let's do the same thing with his title bar. So we want the title to come in after his name. So I'm actually going to trim both his title text and his title rectangle to come in right at the end of the crossfades for his name. Games and just gained a lot of weight. And we're gonna do very similar animations. So for his graphic, we're going to animate using position. I'm gonna start the position data here. And again, that marks the ending frame. And I'll come to the beginning of that graphic and I want this again to animate from the action safe line. Gained a lot of weight. Mike. Good. Then I want his title to do the same. So just like before, we'll line up our last keyframe using our playhead, select his text for his title, drop the keyframe for position, bring the playhead to zero, and then line up his name with the title safe line as well. So now when I play this back, games and just gained a lot of weight. My computer was good. Let's add some crossfades by right clicking and applying the default transition. And let's play it all back. Video games and just gained a lot of weight. 
My computer was right next to the mirror and there was a It looks nice. We could play with the timings. So for example, if I wanted these to come in a little bit later, I could drag them down a little bit. Games and just gained a lot of weight. My computer was right next to the mirror. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And then I'll trim all of these to match the same length. So that's how we animate a name bar so it appears on screen. In the next tutorial, I'll show you a really simple trick to help us create an animated out for the same name bar.